Any printed circuit board has a shape with certain geometric dimensions. The shape and dimensions can be known and rigidly set before the design starts, or they can be changed in the process if necessary. The shape of the board is an important part when ordering and manufacturing a board in production. Therefore, it is worthwhile to take a responsible approach to its definition. When creating a new file, the PCB is sized by default. We can change its boundaries in the board planning mode. To do this, you need to select the desired units of measurement, grid and select the shape region. When moving sides and corners, use the Shift Space keyboard shortcut to change editing modes. Set the required shape, focusing on the grid nodes and return to the 2D mode. This way we have edited the shape and its dimensions, but this is not enough. To manufacture the board, the manufacturer needs a file with its outline. Therefore, it is necessary to add and reserve one of the mechanical layers for the board shape. It is important that unnecessary primitives, for example from footprints, do not get into this layer in the future. For example, let's select the mechanical layer number 5 and specify the board shape type for it. Since the board shape has already been changed, now it remains to run the command from the Design Create Primitives from Board Shape menu. You need to specify the line width, select the created layer and click OK. In the mechanical layer, primitives were created that follow the outline of the board. The reverse way of creating a board shape is often used. A closed outline is created in a mechanical layer with the track and arc primitives, then a board shape is created from it. The same is done for any editing of the board shape during the design process. After creating or modifying the outline, select and run the command Design Board Shape Define Board Shape from selected objects. The board shape will be created along the selected contour. Often the outline of the board can be transferred to use from MCAT in DWG or DXF format. We can import such a contour to the mechanical layer. In this case we need to specify the document units, line width, specify the insertion layer and we can also specify the placement point. After import you need to select the outer contour and run the command define board shape from selected objects. Cutouts inside a board can be generated from a closed path via the tools Convert Create Board Cutout from Selected Primitives menu. Holes, if they will be performed at a drilling stage, must be placed with the pad tool and their contour must be removed from the mechanical layer. This way we have created the board shape along the imported contour. It should be noted that the contour of the board or cutout must be closed. If you get a warning while creating a board or cutout shape, click No, Find and Fix the Break. Altium Designer supports the creation of a board outline using a 3D model. Quite often the board blank is worked out at a stage of 3D modeling of the entire device in MCAT. The board can be saved in STEP or Parasolid format and then placed in a PCB file as a 3D body, from which the board shape will be created. We will consider this particular method. But it is worth noting that Altium Designer supports a two-way communication with Mechanical CAD using the MCAT Co-Designer plugin and allows you to both create a board outline and exchange any changes in its shape. For more details, see the separate videos about MCAT and MCAT Co-Designer. When inserting a 3D body into a PCB, it will be displayed as a projection in 2D mode. Therefore, it is recommended to reserve a separate mechanical layer for projections of 3D bodies. Using the place 3D body command, place the 3D model of the board in a free space in the mechanical layer created for projections. To create a board shape using a 3D model, you need to switch to 3D mode with the button 3. We see the board blank which contains a cutout and mounting holes. Run the Design Board Shape Define Board Shape from 3D Body command. 
Then you need to click on the 3D model itself, after which its faces will begin to highlight. We select the one along which the board outline will be formed. The contour will be rebuilt, the visibility of the 3D model will be turned off, DRC is also turned off for it, and the selected face is aligned with the top layer. Let's go back to 2D mode. The layer with projections of 3D bodies can be hidden for convenience. We see that in addition to the board outline, this method creates cutouts and mounting holes. A small adjustment to the holes is required. For example, for non-plated holes, uncheck the plated checkbox. Now it remains to create primitives from the board outline in the mechanical layer with the command create primitives from board shape already known to us. Specify line width, layer and tick include cutouts. The board outline has been created. It is also worth noting that the holes and cutouts are joined together and move as one unit. By right clicking on a hole in the union context menu, you can exclude an object from a union for its separate movement. Also, work with unions is available in the PCB panel in the unions group. The 3D body of the board can be found in the PCB panel in the 3D model group in the free model section. The DRC check and the visibility are disabled for the 3D body. When selected in the Properties panel, we see the properties of the body. A 3D model can be placed from the server, embedded in the PCB file and also inserted as a link with the ability to update the geometry. At the final stage of working with the board outline, set the origin at the desired location using the Edit Origin Set command. As we said earlier, the board outline must be passed to the manufacturer. Therefore, add a mechanical layer with the outline of the board when creating the output for manufacturing.